Balmain, Buzz Down, EO, Can't Stand This Screen. What's up to everybody who watch my channel? All right, y'all. This is going to be for anyone who clicks on the message. I don't know why I'm being led to say that. Because sometimes in the comments, y'all be like, who is this message for? It's for anybody, y'all, okay? Anybody feel like it resonate, man or female, okay? So today's Bible verse, we have Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11. No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It's painful. But afterwards, there will be a peaceful harvest of right, a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained up in this way here. So, of course, no discipline is wanted. Like, we don't want to, we don't want to be held accountable for our actions, even though we know we messed up, right? But sometimes we got to deal with that consequence because everything has a consequence. And I feel like when we deal with the consequence, we learn something through that, okay? So, it's some form of a lesson that's, that's being learned to where you could teach other people. And I feel like you're never going to have to go through this stuff again, but you got to be trained up this way, all right? So let's see what um what the self cards have to say. So the first card that we, that we have coming out is longing, okay? So with longing, it say, I offer my deep desires to you. Change me into one who offers you my deepest longings. Trusting you know exactly how to handle them. Let me know my whole, let me know that I am whole and free most of all here. So I feel like there's something in your heart that you, that you really, really want. Something that you're desiring, you're longing for, praying, like, please let it, please let it come through for me or please let my life be the way I want it to be, right? I feel like some things you just got to give it over, okay? You just got to trust the process. That's what I'm hearing, let's see. Okay, so, um, yeah, the hangman is coming out. So, I feel like some of you guys are in a season of waiting, feeling like you're being put on pause right now, right? I feel like you're being forced to look at life in a different perspective. And until you start looking at life in a different perspective, that's when you'll get out of this hangman energy here. I feel like there's some type of huge sacrifice that's, going, that's needed to be made. I'm hearing moving, okay? Some of you guys could be scared to move. Some of you guys can, could feel like, well, I'm losing a lot of money. It's like how it resonates. Y'all could be worried about the money. Okay, don't worry about the money. Okay, God will provide. He always provide. If he provide, if he provided for you in the past, he will in the future. So I always trust him. I feel some energy as well. Like I said, it's going to be something that that somebody is being forced to let go. All right. So just keep keep hope alive and just keep praying because you're learning new things. And look, the hangman just literally came out twice. The hangman just clarified the hangman. Look at life in a new perspective, okay? Go ahead and just take that risk. That's what I'm saying. Take the risk. Let go. Let let go and let God and take the risk here. Start really looking at life in a new perspective. I feel like some of y'all have not left outside of y'all environment, and it's time to go experience something else. But I do see where there's something that you're literally going to ha have to let go. Pisces energy is coming up heavy. You're literally going to have to let go of something in order for your life to change. But I feel like this sacrifice or whatever it is, is going to be way worth it because you're going to get what your heart desires. You're going to get what you're longing for here. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of hard, but it's going to happen for you in due time. And so let's see what's going on. Yeah, so for the finance, we have compromise. So I feel like, yep, that's that more they sacrifice the energy. I feel like you're going to have to compromise when it comes down to your situation and everything that you have going on around you here. All right, I feel some energy where you just, you're just going to have to meet, meet God halfway. That's what I'm feeling like. Just get up and take the risk. Let me see. I'm gonna use these cards. I haven't used these cards right here in a long time. So, what's going on with this career finance? What's this compromise? Why is the compromise here? Some of y'all, it's gonna feel very discomforting to compromise. Okay, some of y'all gonna feel way out of y'all element, way out of y'all like comfort zone. Yeah, we having a devil card coming out here. Yep, with the tower moment is coming out with the Knight of Pentacles. So this is most definitely a heart desire with this devil card being here. I feel like some of y'all are literally stuck in toxic situations. It's time to be it's time to be free. It's time to re release. That's what I'm feeling like. I feel like when you um 
with with you where you wherever you're stuck at is not good for you it's not safe for you i feel like god is pulling you in another direction with a tower moment coming in there's divine intervention that's coming into your life here where whatever you've been waiting for with the king of pentacles is going to come to you here i feel like it's is whatever you've been desiring for but you're going to have to like make a, a decision if you want this or not a choice i'm feeling like it's a strong choice that's that's needed to be made I'm gonna come down here. Don't listen to everything in in people around you here. That's what I'm feeling too. Okay, because it could be a lot of people that don't want to see you win. That don't want to. Yeah, Eight of Cups with the Knight of Swords, with the Seven of Pentacles. Some of y'all are being called to walk away from a toxic situation here. I feel like it could it could be a new job or some type of a job. Take it how it resonates. Some something where you could be waiting for your money or waiting to get what you deserve out of that situation i feel like you're just going to have to walk away from it because somebody is going to keep you waiting here somebody somebody is using you as an option yeah everything is not what it seems to be somebody could be tricking something dis disguising something not telling somebody the full truth yeah somebody is making a fast decision i feel like they they chose something else and they're and they're scared to tell you, so they just choose to walk away and ghost you and leave you waiting here. So there is some type of child moment, divine intervention that's coming in on you. Tell me more. Let me see. Like I said, this is career in finance, but it's just telling me to clarify here. Yeah, so it's whatever is coming in is to move you in a new direction here. You're gonna be whatever you've been planning for, it is gonna happen with the eight of swords coming in. I feel like some of y'all felt stuck. Some of y'all already knew the truth, but y'all just kept holding on to faith of the future. Somebody kept holding on to a dream, to to plans and things that they had. So they chose to stay stuck towards this situation here. So I feel some energy where somebody, you're going to have to see the truth. Somebody is going to have to open their eyes with the queen of wands. Could be a fire sign energy or some of y'all can be dealing with a fire sign. I feel like some of y'all are going to have to stand up for yourself and what is right. Okay, you're going to have to stand up for what is right here. Yeah, with the chariot coming in, this is going to be the best decision for you to make. You're going to get a lot of victory out of this situation. I do see you guys traveling somewhere, relocating and getting like everything that your heart de heart desire i feel like some of you guys live or whatever this situation was with some type of crazy chaotic lifestyle but you kept trying to deal with it here with the knight of pentacles realize that you accomplished you accomplished a lot on your own here yeah with the hyphen coming out some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer or a taurus or maybe that's your energy remember everything that you learned along this journey here okay so i feel like you learned a lot of valuable lessons a lot of um things that you could teach others okay i feel like you're able to predict things before they happen as well some of y'all got some old traditional ways where y'all very loyal and y'all when y'all say something y'all commit to it here i feel like being in this um dark energy help you find god i see somebody repenting somebody turning over from their wicked ways they got to resonate here coming up out of that dark energy and just asking god for forgiveness as well so i do see somebody turning over a new leash so by your life changing you're you're literally finna change environments here. I'm feeling a long time coming energy, but it, it taught you a lot. That's why I feel like these these demons, these evil energies, everything everything taught you here. It, it's making you into a new woman. It's making you very confident as well. That's what I'm feeling like. But it's changing your soul for some. Okay. So yeah, some of y'all are really finna leave y'all zones. Yeah, three of cups. This is gonna be a major celebration here. You're finna be around like-minded people, people who who think the same things as you. Be able to have friends and go out and have a good time here after being in the season of testing and the season of things just being hard. I feel like some of you guys are coming up out of that struggle energy as well, where you're not having, where you're not gonna have to struggle no more. But it is going to take a sacrifice. So whatever your sacrifice could be here, it's going to take for something to get let go. And even if you lose a job, trust that God has something better for you here, okay? So take the high that could resonate for some. Okay. So let's see what's going on in this love life that's here. And with your love life, it could be a partnership. It could be you or your person. Take it out for resonate, okay? So we have why it's coming out. So somebody is learning the reason why. Somebody is trying to figure out something. Somebody want to understand it. And it's a yin energy. So it could be a female 
they're stepping into the unknown, figuring out things around them here. Somebody is questioning, trying to figure out why their life is the way it is. And I feel like someone is learning the reason why here. And somebody could be, it could be a female or someone asking about a female. So let's see, or, or some feminine energy. Let's see what's going on here. Why is this why here? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune coming out, Sagittarius energy. Feel like somebody, some something is coming in that's very lucky. Something that's good fortune here. I feel like somebody is gonna get some type of lucky break in life here. Somebody's life is literally changing before their eyes. I'm hearing the jackpot. So I feel like um, some of you guys are finna learn the reason why your life is the way it is. Like everything that you touch literally turned to gold. And some of you guys probably don't have no problem with making money or just attracting things here. Some of y'all just done been in that wheel of fortune energy where you don't been on, on a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs, good luck, bad luck. But I see some energy coming in where it's, it's very promising. You're not gonna go through all this stuff that you used to in the past because the six of swords is here. Some of y'all could have left, could have left um, a situation in the past here that you probably thought was good. For some, take it out to resonate. Something that something that you probably could have made a lot of money in. Some of y'all could have walked away from a Sagittarius for some, okay? But I do feel some energy with you walking away. You're walking away finding your peace and your happiness here. Finding everything that you deserve in, in life here. I feel like some of y'all are just calming down. Y'all are feeling like life has calmed down for you. Some of y'all are living in that good fortune energy where you're not worried about nothing. You're only focusing on your peace. Yeah, so I do see I do see something coming in for you and you guys literally traveling. You guys literally moving, taking whatever you can and going. Cause we have a death card coming in. Some form of a transformation is here. I'm feeling a second chance. So some of you guys are gonna get a second chance at something. Yeah, the seven of swords is at the bottom of the deck. It's literally gonna creep up on you. All right, so make sure you move in silence when you get this, whatever it could be here. Somebody is literally hitting the jackpot for someone. It could be your spouse or take it have a resonate or somebody that's wealthy. I don't know. But we haven't, um, with the death card of rebirth, some of y'all done been, been on some type of spiritual transformation. Y'all not the same that, the way that y'all used to be in the past here. And I feel like this is a good change for you. Now you're going to be able to live again. So tell me what's going on with this little fortune. Okay, yeah, we having the scrim card. Leo energy is coming out. All right, I feel like some of you guys have been resisting something or it's just been some energy where you're just getting your confidence back here. Some of y'all probably is valuing y'all a long time. Y'all want to be alone. I feel like some of y'all are just getting y'all confidence up, just having a good having a good time within, right? And y'all probably resisting the outside world, not wanting to come out your house for some because this little beard don't want to come out here because we got the four swords coming in some of y'all could be healing from some type of um injury i don't know why i'm hearing a settlement so your settlement is going to come if you've been waiting for that but some of y'all could be healing from some type of injury or just healing from a harsh past here just choosing to disconnect from the world and just going within that's what i'm feeling like some of y'all just been in your own space in your own head focusing on something and we have justice coming in so there's some type of soul contract that's coming towards you something that was always divine and destined for you all right i feel like somebody had to take up take some responsibility or being or being held accountable for a lot of things in the past that have resonated and that's why a lot of your life has been on hold all right because somebody been going through um like justice or judgment have been held accountable for their actions know that every every um cause has a reaction here so be aware of that whether it's good karma or bad karma so i do see some energy where something is honest and fair and it's coming in here something that was destined as well could be a lever for some and it was the six of um swords what's going on here yeah i feel like wherever you're heading towards it's the ten of pentacles it's wealth it's the ultimate accomplish accomplishment here i feel like you guys are never going to have to worry about money here i feel like some of you guys are going to be very focused on your health and be focused on your children or your family for some here some of y'all are bringing in generational wealth i'm hearing congratulations y'all really don't see this coming queen of Wands just came out again fire sign energy sagittarius aries leo so i'm feeling some energy with this fire with this queen of um wands coming out this is confidence this is you being able to attract everything that you want in life attract the things that you're asking for right i feel like some of you guys are literally like a magnet you don't have to you don't have to chase it it's going to come to you so it's okay it's okay to let somebody else make the um first choice that's what i'm feeling here 
But I feel like some of you guys, y'all are very, y'all are in that confidence energy. I'm feeling strong confidence here in whatever you're doing. Strong determin determination. Somebody, you, somebody could want to get up and take action towards you or you're taking action towards something else. Take out a resume. I feel like it probably took a minute for this for this relationship or this person to head in towards you. That's what I'm feeling like. Maybe somebody could have walked away from a family dynamic for some here. It's going towards something better. Tell me more. Yeah, we having a moon card, all right? So I feel like somebody is literally learning the reason why. Somebody is like in that veil, in that um, in that energy, just where they could be drowning in emotions, right? And I'm feeling somebody's just trying to get the answers and they're figuring out the answers here. So whatever is done in the dark gonna always come to the light here. Somebody even, even could have been holding a secret that they was walking away and going towards something better. But I feel like the secret is most definitely coming out because somebody somebody's emotions is everywhere. What's going on with this, with this death here? Yeah, hangman energy. Yeah, somebody is most definitely is making a huge sacrifice or is going to have to make a sacrifice in order to get out of this dark energy here in order to just move on. Yeah, looking at life in a new perspective here. Yeah, we had the Knight of Swords. Somebody is making this decision pretty fast as well. Somebody is like... I can't, it is what it is. They're determined to do whatever it takes. It even could cause a, a huge argument. I'm hearing a battle as well. So it's either a battle or an argument, but it's causing some type of a friction because somebody is choosing to make a decision to just release something. Tell me more. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Somebody is choosing, somebody is adding more burdens onto this person because this person is letting them go here. All right, I feel like somebody is trying to make it so hard to where someone can't someone can't get out of it somebody is making fast decisions but not thinking they're just acting before they before they think here and it's going to backfire on that person as well so now so it's like somebody is trying to do something to hurt someone else from not leaving even try probably to try to kill this person take out a resonate beware of car accidents um check your brakes and things like that so somebody's going to do something to try to to try to hurt someone so they won't move on. That's what I'm feeling like, putting the ultimate burden on somebody so they can stay stuck to them. But like I said, it's going to backfire on this energy. It's going to lead this energy in a fucked up ass. Yeah, they're going to go through judgment. They probably even they probably even fuck around and go to jail here because everything that they did, it kind of, it, it was unnecessary. You didn't have to go to that, to that extent. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody didn't have to go to that extent. It's probably why somebody was holding back as well, just wanted to heal. Yeah, they say in love. So somebody is in love here. There is true feelings of all. Yeah, they say in the ring. So somebody is dead ass in love and they're willing to fight. They're willing to do whatever it takes. It say going another round. But they don't give a fuck if they lose or what. They still gonna get up and keep fighting type energy. This is somebody who literally don't give up. They want they want competition. They want they want this. Yeah, say hunted here. So somebody is feeling hunted by this person. Feeling like I'm here worst nightmare. Like what the fuck? Like I can't get rid of this damn evil, this spirit. Yeah, somebody needs help. Somebody mental mind is not is not up to par here. Somebody is weak as well. Yeah, they say obsession. Somebody is mentally crazy. I'm hearing this person could be diagnosed. Somebody could be diagnosed crazy. It says still dating. So somebody is still dating around, keeping their options open. And they say he's in love with somebody else. So yeah, this person is most definitely in love with somebody else. This person was never committed to this energy. This is somebody who thinks they're in a relationship with this person. And this person is like, I'm not in a relationship with you. Yeah, they say had enough. So this man could most definitely have had, had enough of this energy to kind of resonate whoever it could be. Yeah, I feel like this Seven of Swords is peeking his head and the Thief card just fell out. So I feel some energy where somebody is going to try to sneak away. Somebody is literally going to try to sneak away. They're going to try to take whatever they can and just go here. I feel like they're they're dealing with a thief, a narcissist, a liar. I feel like this is this is one of the thieves that are still right in your face, too. 
So yeah, that this this could be some energy where somebody is literally finna sneak off. It's a bad health. So somebody I'm with that health, bad health coming out. I feel like they're mine. Okay, somebody may need to go to a mental hospital. Somebody mine is not is not right. Somebody is literally insane. Yeah. And then we have a wealthy man. So this man could most definitely be wealthy coming out here. He could be going through some health issues as well. So if they have a resume, I'm hearing stress, high blood pressure for some. All right, but I feel like whoever this obsessed energy is, they're doing this because this person is wealthy. And then they say a path. So I feel like there is some type of transformation that's most definitely being made. There's some type of exit, some type of door that's being being open and someone is being told to just go along the path. All right, trust the process here. And I'm I'm feeling just just think the lighter because it's a good fortune is coming out. So this pathway that God is opening up is good fortune here. It's very promising. Everything that you touch will turn to gold. I feel like this situation is going to bring in a lot of good luck. It's going to be like hitting the jackpot. Like it's going to make money and it's going to it's going to be very promising for someone. Okay, it's a distant horizon. So I do see some of you guys moving out of state. All right, this situation could be going on in another state from you. Take out resonate, but I see some type of new partnership most definitely is coming into union for you guys so let's see what the, um this romance angel wants to say yeah it's a past life relationship so this most definitely was a past life relationship that someone was dealing with here maybe they had to finish up something from their past life in order to get something new so yeah that's probably why somebody even failed for this energy because it was something that they was kind of used to something that was familiar so it's a let your friends help you is coming out so listen to your friends let them support you i feel like your friend your friends are helping you overcome this situation they're giving you very good advice so just be willing to listen, man or female, okay? Whoever is stuck in this energy. Yeah, it's say love yourself first. All right, somebody is learning a lesson to love themselves, to have boundaries and things like that, not to just let people in so easily. All right, so yeah, that's a lot of energy of putting yourself first. If you put yourself first, you, your eyes are open up to the truth and the things that's going on around you. Tell me more. Yeah, I say romantic feelings are worth exploring. So there is a situation that is worth exploring. It could be something new, something that you probably been watching, but someone is literally having to free themselves from some type of religion factor, all right? I feel like somebody has a religion hold on someone with that black magic. Kind of, I'm seeing this person feel stuck watch why they trying to go so it's a keep an open mind and when it come down to your love life here your um soul may make different from your usual type and then they say this could be the one so there's probably another issue where this is not what somebody is used to so your soulmate will most definitely differ from your usual type just like could be watching you from a fake page because they peek his head so it's a sugar baby. So some of you guys could become sugar babies, all right, where someone want to take care of you. It's a your dreams will come true here. It's a um, the come up. So you're going to be on some type of come up or some of you guys are in a come up right now and you don't even know it here. Just, you just got to make peace with whatever you're doing now in order to go up towards your next level here. And then it's a best, best, best sex, sorry. <laughs> So I feel like this most definitely will be the best sex that you ever had here. Black magic is picking his head. So there is something that's trying to stop this connection. But no man can break what God put together. So it will not stop. So it say um, number 10 here. You are very unique. Okay. It's something in this world that only you can do. So you're special here. Yeah. I feel like some of you guys, they say unblock these haters. Let me see this come up. Some of y'all could either could either be on a come up now or finna be on a come up. So you gotta resonate. But let these people see it. It say um, embracing the pain because there's something better here. All right. So thank y'all for watching your girl. And your girl is out. Okay. Peace.